What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video slash tutorial slash devlog. This one is going to be a pretty quick one. And this one is also not a C++ one. I mean, it's possible to do in C++, but I'm going to do this in Blueprint because it's a lot simpler to explain and to hook up the whole thing. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to do this one in Blueprint. Uh, whenever you're playing a game or you need to interact with an item, uh, you go to the collider and you're going to have like this interacting interaction icon so in this case if i want to pick up the sword i need to press the e key and there's also uh, a good detection going on here as i explained in the previous video so if i hook up my gamepad right now so i do have like this old xbox 360 gamepad as you can see now it's turned on and if i play the game with this gamepad and right now as you can see if I go through any collider right now, uh, it kind of changes the whole thing. So you can see that now I need to, pr to, to press RB. So it auto detects that I'm playing with my gamepad instead of my keyboard. And if I just put aside the whole thing and use the keyboard instead, you can see that it auto detects as well that I'm using the keyboard. So this is pretty simple to do and it requires almost no code, what no coding whatsoever. And let me just go back to the uh, actual good deal of it. So now that I have a good view, that's actually a pretty good, like a pretty simple and basic stuff to do. So what I did in the C++ code, I created like a variable called if, like a Boolean variable, you can do that in Blueprint as well. And I just created like a variable into my player controller. Uh, that is basically saying, let me just actually open up the game, the player controller real quick. So I said I wouldn't do that in C++, but uh, Remember that I did that partially in C++. Let me just open up the character, uh, the player controller. So as you can see, I have this only like these two functions right now. One is blueprint peer, and this is just returning the variable. And I create this private variable called is using gamepad, which is just a question, which is like a simple question. And then I create a setter for this, which is also blueprint callable. And it's basically setting that variable to whatever I you know, specify to it. Uh, so if you go to the player controller right now, let me just open up a blueprint version of it. So let me just go to blueprint characters, playable, player character itself. Uh, basically I just do this, which is any key event. So any key is an event. So you can just press any key basically, and you can get the player controller. I cast to my blueprint player controller, which is just a version of that C++, C++ class. And on the key event, I just grab his gamepad key. And based on that, I just set the variable with the result of it. So if it's detecting that I'm using a gamepad and this is going to do the whole thing for me, it's a blueprint node from the Unreal Engine already. This is already doing whatever I need it. So if it's doing, if it's checking that is a gamepad key, like uh, if I'm using the sticks to move my character, if I'm pressing any other button, uh, this is going to be fired and it's going to be true and it's going to set that variable to true. Whenever I press any other button, if it's on the keyboard, it's going to set that to false. So that's how it actually keeps updating that uh, inside of my player character. And if I go to the HUD itself, so let me go to the pickup master class that I have it. And if I go to the pickup widget info, let me just go to the actual instructions. So if I go, I have this icon over here. And this icon is binded. There's like a bind function attached to it. So on the brush section, wherever I set this key, there's this bind function. So I create a binding and the function that I actually created was this generate uh, get interaction icon. And what is basically doing is, is just grabbing again, my player controller and it's grabbing that function, that getter function that I, you know, I set up here as a blueprint pure, which is ease using gamepad. And it's returning that variable that just, that I just set it before. And if that's true, then it's meaning that I'm using gamepad. So I set that to my Xbox Series X uh, texture over here, which is, I have like this, I'm also gonna leave like a link in the description below of, of where I downloaded everything. This is a free pack that you can find on the internet. But basically what it does is goes to that specific section and stores that and set that as the, as my icon over here. And if it's false, then I set my, to my E key on the keyboard, which is just my E key. And that's gonna be constantly updating, regardless if, you know, it, since it's binded, whenever that variable change, it's gonna change uh, the receptor, like the result of this output over here. 
So this is basically what has been done. So you can, you know, that's how you can auto detect and then specify icons based on that on, into your UI. And that's pretty simple stuff. So as a result, as I said it, if I play with my keyboard, now I'm seeing the keyboard to capture the, the data on it. So it's my keyboard key. But if I pick up my gamepad, and if I navigate it, now it's my gamepad. And if I press my A or B, then I collect all my items. And if I open the inventory, you can see that the item is there. And if I open the inventory as well with the keyboard, you can see that the item is also there. And you can also equip as we did in the previous videos. So yeah, that's a pretty short and quick version of it. I hope you like it.